Uh, good morning, everyone. So my uh, presentation for this morning is entitled Paving the Way to a Green Campus Design, CDM at the Forefront. Forefront. So again, I'm Engineer Biglete from Colegio de Montiluca. Next slide, please. So this is the outline of my uh, presentation. So first, I'll be introducing uh, our school. So we are a very young college. We are just operating for uh, five years, but uh, we are very thankful that uh, project uh, CNAG is uh, collaborating with us. So uh, let me introduce our school. So Colegio uh, de Montilupa is a uh, local college, local government school, and CHED recognized free higher education institution that was uh, established to help fill the gap in the science and technology sector of the uh, Philippines. We were just established in 2017 and we are located in Sukat, Montilupa uh, City. So uh, we are offering uh, five uh, courses. Currently, we are offering uh, five uh, courses, but this coming semester will be offering uh, three more. So um, we are, uh, as you can see, as you have uh, heard from my, uh, as you as you have seen from my uh, title. So we are a green. We are implementing a green building design using majority of our uh, building energy consumption from. Uh, installed solar panels. Next slide, please. So to uh, be more in detail with regards to that. So for our campus features, we have the solar panels with real-time monitoring uh, system. So um, we have 812 pieces of uh, solar modules installed uh, in on our rooftop um, for a total of floor area of uh, 1,237 uh, square meters with a uh, combined uh, capacity of 308 uh, kilowatt peak. So this is just for the phase one, since this is installed uh, in our main building. Currently, we are constructing the second building and uh, we will also install uh, a solar uh, photovoltaic system in the second building. So definitely this uh, capacity will increase uh, in the next uh, years. So we are proud to say that uh, we are deriving uh, 60 to 65 percent of our uh, building energy consumption from this installed uh, solar panels. So uh, as you can see from the picture, so we have here um, installed solar panels in our uh, main building as well as uh, on the walkway from the entrance of our campus. Next slide, please. So we have identified uh, four areas of collaboration with Project CNAG um, from our initial meeting last uh, March 22. So first, uh, we're going to um, study the effects of different uh, tilt angles, thus accumulation and temperature to uh, solar PV uh, performance. Um, for the dust accumulation, so this is very uh, relevant to our uh, project since um, our campus is near the Laguna de Bay and uh, a study conducted by the World Bank in 2019 uh, stated that um, solar panels are greatly affected. Its efficiency is uh, greatly affected when it is uh, near bodies of water, which is um, uh, the case of uh, CDM. Second, um, second area of collaboration, uh, we're going to uh, study the different types of dust particles, its characteristics, and the rate of accumulation. Um, given our proximity to the major thoroughfare here in uh, Muntinlupa City, especially the uh, South Luzon uh, Expressway, so I think the effect of uh, the accumulation of this uh, dust particles uh, play plays a uh, major contribution as to the energy output of our um, system. Third, we have the performance of different types of PV panels at specific environmental conditions. So the type of uh, material that we are using here in CDM is the poly polycrystalline uh, material type of uh, solar panel, but we'll defin definitely look into the uh, effect of the different factors that affect the uh, energy output 
uh, with regards to the two other types of uh, panels, namely the mono and the thin film. Uh, the fourth one is the techno-economic analysis on the current solar PV installation. So we haven't uh, done this yet, but we are very positive that we can uh, assess the economic performance of our current system. And probably since we're, we'll be installing another set of solar panels in our second as well as the third building, so perhaps the output of this study will be a will be very will be very uh, beneficial to the uh, to the output of of the projects that we'll be uh, implementing so moving uh, forward so currently we are just finalizing our uh, memorandum of understanding with uh, project sinag but we are uh, very positive that uh, in the coming months We'll be doing the experimental setup, the data gathering, and data sharing, and perhaps uh, we can produce uh, technical papers out of these areas of uh, collaboration. So uh, that's the end of my presentation. Uh, thank you very much.